Chapter 8 Emperor 16 and Empress Keter were gliding through the clouds in their flying carriage. It made traveling seem like a wonderland as they witnessed and experienced the arrow creatures of the Axum Empire. From the dragons playing cloud ball to fellow Azizans casting wind spells, flying through the empire is the way to go. It almost made them forget why they were even in the carriage. Almost. Kita, now you know I'm not one of those royals who feels as if folks should bow down to us. But why are we going to Zim Senior and Riga and not having them come to us? 16 ex expressed annoyance in his voice. Because, Kita responds, your mother loves this family. We love them too. And we get an excuse to fly. 16 pondered what his wife had stated. All this was true. Just sometimes he wanted people to come to him. He wanted to relax in his tree castle. His wife loved traveling by air because she couldn't fly. And so she would always find an excuse to do so. So do you know why we're meeting them? 16 annoyed. All I know is that they asked us to come over. And that it was important, Kita pointed out. I said, sure, we ain't doing nothing. 16 and Kita laughed. <laughs> <laughs> they do always have free time and what better way to spend it than with their loved ones especially those who weren't royal the carriage began to descend gracefully when a simple thought floated in 16's head honey why did we take the long way if they live literally steps away from our tree castle because we can kita smiled the door opened to a giant sized tree house that could rival that of the noble families in axum Kita and 16 looked at each other and then scanned the treehouse up and down. Was this treehouse always this nice on the outside? 16 pondered. That's what I want to know. Maybe they upgrade and we ain't noticed, Kita responded. Zim Sr. and Rika greeted them at the entrance. Follow us. Kita and 16 slowly but surely followed them inside the tree mansion where there was a spread of deep-fried mushrooms, barbecue jackfruit stew, cornbread, and lemonade. Zim C. and Rika led them toward the table, where they motioned them to sit. Once everyone sit, the casualties begin. So, your majesty, how are you? Please eat. Rika asked. Sixteen and Kita looked around at their surroundings and then looked back at Zim Sr. and Rika. Girl, why are we here? Zim Sr. and Rika stunned at Kita's question. Y'all quit playing. Why are we here? Oh, and another question. How y'all get this tree house? This is nice. One thing about Kita is that she always direct. You will never have to guess how she feels about you. She will let you know. Okay, as I'm seeing her at it. We need y'all's help telling our sons a secret. What kind of secret? Kita interjected. The life-changing one. Zen Senior smiled. Okay, what is it? Kita sipped on lemonade. Your turn, Zim Sr. nudged his wife. If looks could kill, Zim Sr. would have died because Rika did not like to be thrown under the bus. We aren't Zim's parents. Queen Shanika is. Kita projected her lemonade across the table. She was not expecting that. Sixteen just stopped eating and put his head up because he knew this was about to get good. Yeah, 16 years ago. Queen Shanika asked me to run away to the Axum Empire with Zim and raise him like he was my own, and I said yes. She is also the reason why we got this giant tree mansion, John 14 too. So we are asking that you help us break the news to Zim when he goes to the Dragonlands tomorrow. We are asking you because he looks up to you guys as older siblings. So, what do you say? 16 and Kita's thoughts frozen but slowly melted to the chilling revelation of one of their favorite persons. Sure, we'll do it.